I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. <clears throat> for Saturday, July 22nd, the scripture is from the 20th chapter of the Gospel of John, verses 1 through 2, and verses 11 through 18. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Mary Magdalene, the Apostle. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. Verse 18. Today the church lifts up Mary Magdalene, an apostle mentioned 12 times in the New Testament. That's more than any other woman had, any other woman, and more than most of the male apostles. While we don't know much of Mary's early life, we're told Jesus healed her of seven demons in Luke. From that point, Mary was different. In the 1971 rock opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, Mary sings, I've been changed. In these past few days, when I have seen myself, I seem like someone else. Mary's life became closely intertwined with Christ. She was present at the crucifixion and the first to find Jesus' tomb empty. She anguished over where his body had been taken. Indeed, it was Mary, Jesus greeted by, the na by name near the tomb. And she was first to announce he was alive. Mary's life was changed because Jesus cast out the demons that had oppressed her. And she could not help but follow him. May our Jesus following be strengthened by her story. Our prayer. Lord, thank you for overpowering Mary Magdalene to share your good news. Please empower me too. Oh, amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.